Abby Oipatan, London Olympic semi-finalist, one and 200 meters. Athens Olympic Games finalist, 200 meters. Jeanette Quake, four by 100 meters, British champion, 2011, double Olympic 100 meter finalist. And we're here at Lee Valley to speak to them on behalf of advictor.com. I looked at Abby in 2004 making uh, the 200 metre final and um, you know being so close to making the 100 metre final thinking wow you know British girls can do it and it was four years later that in Beijing I was able to make a, the 100 metre final so it's you know it's quite interesting that both of us are quite good friends yeah. and Olympic finalists at the same time but it's an amazing feeling and to do it as a British woman is even, is even better. I'm there, I'm there on holiday, on my Coca Cabana, on the beach, with my Mai Tai, yes. But I will not be on the track. Well, <laughs> she might be. I have aspirations for Rio 2016, but in Rugby Sevens. It was about putting the work in, and it is about the dedication. You know, talent will only get you so far. There's talent, and then there's self-development as a person. If you don't self-develop, as a young person going into the, the senior ranks, you will struggle. We're probably used to losing, and then what you then develop as a young person is that hunger. You want to go out and you want to get it and be the best. We set goals, and if you're a goal-orientated person, then challenge shouldn't really be a big thing. It's something that you kind of thrive on, and it's a, it's a pressure that, that makes you grow. A lot of us train together. And we've got that dynamic anywhere. You go away together all the time. You go to warm weather training, you go to the Open Cups. It's like a team event. Yeah. And so we all have to kind of like get in, you know, try, you know get, push each other push to get each those other, points. Get the point. We kind of look at, you know, the scale of people that we're working with and everyone's got to be going for the same, the same kind of goal. Sure. That's a really good analogy and I think that um, that's important that a lot of athletes see that and so many of us are don't. so focused, we don't, we don't see the bigger picture. It's really difficult to see the yeah, bigger picture hard. to be honest because <laughs> as an athlete yeah. you, you know, I, you know, I've worked part time but it's a difficult thing, you have to be so dedicated and give 110%. Where am I? 80 metres? I'm not even there. That's where I start to, <laughs> that's where I start to kind of flag a little bit, like I'm known to be a great starter, I'm not the strongest finisher. <laughs> I think there's definitely parallels, you know, as you talk about the challenges that, um, that you face in sport, that you face in business as well, and I think you can definitely kind of sort of combine the two and use the stuff that, you know, the goal setting, the always working towards something, you know, trying to motivate yourself. But if we're in a relay setup, you know, I may take it upon myself to motivate the other girls and say, like, right, we've got to get this done. That is the same kind of setup I see in the office. We're just not doing it in front of 90,000 people. <laughs> but let's be honest, the project that we might be managing in the office might affect 90,000 people. people. So we draw parallels from all, from all different areas. You're coming out of a world where you've been the best, and not just the best in the UK, but one of the best in the world and you're about to head into, into the unknown, as it were. So you're almost battling again to kind of A, prove yourself and B, you know, develop more self-belief. Athletes come out of the sport and they don't know what they're going to do. And that it's a really scary place, but having, some, having um, an organisation like Ad Victor is, is amazing and it just helps you, whether it's work experience, trying to get in your foot into that corporate world. So it's really nice to sit with a group of people who completely understood the dilemma of transitioning athletes because let's be honest we may have been the best in the world at one point but at some stage we've got to hang up our spikes and actually look forward into other areas yeah. of work and if you've got a team of people that can help you do that then it makes the job a lot easier. Advict is amazing and even if you're not coming out of your sport just yet just having them there and knowing that that somewhere, somewhere I can tap into is a really good thing for athletes and I think that's what you know all kind of um, you know, UKA and governing bodies need to do, so I think it's really important.